the topic itself about Chinese Indonesians, it has always been misunderstood, right? Uh, people tend to think of Chinese Indonesians uh, in stereotypes. Here in this conference, they try to go further into the communities of Chinese Indonesians and why they were stereotyped like that. Indonesia is the closest neighbor and we have a lot of histories in the past, good and bad. The legacies of Suharto's assimilation policy still lives on. I mean, even though it's a much better situation now and certain discriminative laws have been removed, but then in society itself, there is still the idea that Chineseness is foreign to the concept of the Indonesian nation. The focus remains on the future of Indonesia without forgetting what we have lost in the past and what the past have promised but failed to deliver. Discrimination is pretty much still there. Again, the reason uh, cases of political intolerance is also creates challenges for Chinese Indonesians uh, nowadays. We are facing uh, several conflicts on ethnicities, including the um, how Chinese has been marginalized in our political and social life in Indonesia. Konsolidasi kebangsaan itu menjadi sebuah keniscayaan. Saya berharap semua bekerja keras untuk mewujudkan itu. We know that Chinese has contributed so many to Indonesia from language, newspaper, science, and so on. And that's uh, maybe not everybody are familiar with. So here we discuss about. After a long period of time under Suharto, where the Chinese culture was suppressed and there was a good deal of discrimination, there was a great deal of hope that the reformasi, reformation era that followed would be a good thing for the Chinese population and in many respects it has been. We don't usually have conferences that organize specifically on Chinese Indonesians. It is uh, very cultural in a, in a way so it uh, needs to be discussed on and on and people have to be reminded that living in a plural society means that you have to tolerate like others. We have some of the world leading scholars in the field at this conference. We try to make it as open as possible in our invitation and call for papers. They responded and they come from very diverse backgrounds. We don't choose them. We are simply choosing the, the best quality of all the submissions. And so you get this lovely blend of the academic with artists also and community agents coming together in the same forum. The participants come from seven countries from four continents. Ini kami ingin berbagi, saling berbagi lah, saling mendengar apa saja yang telah dilakukan dan apa yang lebih baik ke depannya. I'm very honored to have been invited to speak about my research which has focused on the history of photography in Indonesia. Turns out that that history is entirely entwined with history of ethnic Chinese in Indonesia. I was part of a session on gender and sexuality in Chinese Indonesian communities, which I believe is probably one of the first time that angle has been discussed. The topic of this conference is precisely in my research field of interest. It's been an absorption of mine for half a century and more. This is such a great congregation of distinguished figures in the field who has done excellent work on Chinese in Indonesia. I think that the quality of, of the presentations have all been excellent and I think what is so good is that we see so many Indonesians here. Every panel has built on the next and for me to be able to come here and see all the people I've been reading for decades, it's really quite remarkable. You see, we open a special session for roundtable discussion where you don't have to be academics, you don't have to prepare a paper, you can be just anyone interested with special passion on the kind of themes that we do. We got questions from the floor on, on language and identity issues and how to think about uh, the unique position of the Chinese Indonesians. Each session is small enough and the interaction with the audience and the timing of it is very nice too because you can come out and mingle with people and talk about the 
other sessions. I'm happy to meet uh, my old friends and I meet younger scholars, new people. I'm so happy about that. You know, there are people all over the world who are here and who have so much to say to each other and we mostly read each other's work. And that's a very different kind of conversation than actually being able to hear it and then talk to someone afterwards casually in the hallway. And to be in a place like this with such a gathering is just extraordinary. It's really exciting. We need the face-to-face -face connections, one by one, and then that marvelous app to connect everyone to have conversations afterward. This is the first time that Monash has used an app for a conference like this. Instead of handing out paper programs, we are able to allow people to access the app directly from their phone, which means that they have the schedule there. They're able to connect with other participants and make those kinds of connections beyond just being here right now. We have some really exciting events as well. We've got the lantern making workshop and that was a great success. And we also have the Pranakan cooking demonstration. The library collections, one of the most comprehensive collections on and in Indonesia, particularly on Chinese Indonesians. It's a prized collection that people come from around the world to view. We're seeking to highlight that at the conference and provide the opportunity for people to go over to the library and see that. The Hervith Centre, which was actually formed and established to continue uh, the aspirations of the late Hervith, and that is to do with peace, that is to do with democracy, that is to do with Indonesian studies, histories, and so on. It's good uh, that we need to, to, under, you know, to understand each other. I think, I mean, if, if, if anything, I mean, I think the Indonesian side needs to have an Australian Studies Centre. <laughs> so seriously, because people don't understand each other. It's important for us in Indonesia uh, to keep that connection alive through the uh, center where it will serve as a platform you know, for communication and discussion between uh, Australia and Indonesia. The next generation, I think, tend to forget history. Conference like this would bring them to the understanding of yesterday, which is very important to step forward of the days of tomorrow. I think scholarship always makes people think and ask new questions. And you need to bring people together for the really big questions, but keep the focus very tight, which the organizers did this time. Monash being a prestigious university, and Pa'aril himself also is a very strong activist, you know, for equal right. And I think this brings a very good message to the world. It's not only to Australia or Indonesia, but to the world.